Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I am going to talk about how to resolve vCenter Server 8.0 Stage 2 Setup Error. Normally, uh, in our previous session, I explained about vCenter Server 8.0 installation procedure on VMware Workstation VM. But some scenarios, there is a one of the known issue. Exactly, we have vCenter 8.0 two stages. St stage one is like a deploying a uh, vCenter Server appliance VM, and second stage is the setup or configuration of a vCenter Server. But during the stage two, there is one known issue that error is clearly says that encountered an internal error message. So to resolve this issue, there is just some troubleshooting steps. So those steps I will explain in this session. OK. So error messages looks like this. So normally the error resolution also they mention in the error information itself. So error message says encountered an internal error and C slash where slash log first boot VLCM lifecycle manager first boot Python script and there is a STDER error dot log. So when we refer this log file, there is a some clues and the resolution. What VMware says is this is an unrecoverable error. Please retry install. And if you encounter this error again, please search for the symptoms in the VMware knowledge base for any known issues, possible resolution. If none can be found, collect the support bundle and open a support request. This is a recommended steps they given. So normally when you retry some scenarios, it may resolve. If not resolve, you can follow these troubleshooting steps. So here are the troubleshooting steps. So the solution is convert VCSA OVA file to OVF file. So OVA means open virtual appliance file and by this is the default file. You can convert this OVA file to you can convert into a OVF file open virtual format file using OVF tool. So this OVF tool is a free tool. You can download from VMware website or another method is within a vCenter server appliance ISO file also consist of this tool. OK, better instead of downloading, you can use VCSC folder also have a, this tool. You can use the tool to convert OVA to OVF. That is the first step. And second step is once we convert OVA to OVF, there is a, some changes happen. We change it from A to F. So that means there is a one manifest file. Manifest means in short form .mf file. So delete the original VCSA OVF manifest file so that the validation will not fail due, due to our changes. So this is also part of the troubleshooting. And third step is edit the VCSA OVF. Now already we change it to OVA to OVF. So we call it as VCSA extension is OVF file. So edit this file and locate the following section. There is a one key that key consists of guest info CIS upgrade import directory. Default this path string value shows as false, but to, to resolve this issue, we have to change the value to true and save the file. Once you save, and retry the installation, installation will work smoothly. OK, so these three steps troubleshooting, I will show you in our lab system how we can convert the first step and second, how to delete the manifest file. And third file is how we can change the string to false to true. OK, so let's start with the first point, how we can convert. Let me log into the lab system. Let's say within our lab system, C drive, softwares, and ISOs, I already downloaded a VMware VCSA 8.0. So this is the ISO file. So this ISO file, first, if you want to mount, just right click here and mount. Click on open. So when we mount, if you go to the computer, this PC, you can see this VCSA 8.0 is mounted. If you open this CD file, mounted file, mounted folder you can see there is a multiple folders and there is a readme files also readme english file and also different languages and vcsa we have separate folder and vcsa cli installer and vcsa ui installer that means graphical mode installer if you open graphical mode installer there is a three format you can install linux mac and windows flavors even windows flavor there is a direct installer 
suppose if you launch installer, this method also we can install the VCSC 8.0. And another method is you can install VCSC using a command line. That means silent installer using the command line method. And the third method is VCSC open virtual format file. This is the file. If you want to see the extensions, you can enable the extensions from here. Or else, yeah, go here, details. Or else start run, control and click on folder explore options view and you can select for a hide extensions just uncheck this option click on apply and okay when you see go to the c drive the specific uh, e drive and you can see vcsa this file extension is dot ova that means open virtual appliance package and even the same vcsa folder you can see ovf tool tool also copied so this entire folder, you can just copy and paste it into the local location. So just copy and go to the C drive, just for our easy understanding, copying to the C drive temp, paste. But we haven't converted the OVA file to OVA format. So first, before converting, I'm just copying to the C drive temp. Okay, once we copy to C drive temp, open the VCSC folder, you can see there is a OVF tool already default. It's available in our ISO. So if you open the OVF tool, again, we have a three formats, Linux, Mac, and Windows flavor. Suppose if you open Windows flavor, Windows flavor folder, you can look for a OVF tool.exe file is available or not. See, there is a OVF tool.exe file is available. Okay, so how we can convert is open a command prompt. So just close this all folders. Open command prompt, right click, run as administrator, and let me increase the font. Okay, and we have to change the directory to C drive temp. So once we change the directory to C drive temp, if you search for a DIR, you can see the folder VCSA. Okay. And again, change the folder to CD VCSA. And CD and OVF tool. So now here in the OVF tool, if you type directory, you can see the multiple locations. Let's say again, change the directory to, we can directly choose at a time one path. Just for our easy understanding, I'm going step by step. Okay, so now I again I'm changing the change directory to Windows 32 folder. Now, if you type directory, there is a .exe file for OVF tool. So this is the file. So just copy this tool and paste it here. OVF tool .exe. This is the command space, and our file is located in a C drive temp only. So just go to the C drive temp. We see us here. Here is our actual file is located. So you can copy this path again. Copy and type slash, and you can just type VMware and press enter. The extension is complete, is copied until the dot OVA. Now you can take a space and you can again type the path. If you want to copy to the same location, you can use or else instead of VCSC folder, I'm trying to convert into a C drive temp. So you can use the same name C drive temp. When you type C drive temp and you can copy the file name. C drive temp and copy the entire file name. Let's say the same file name. Right click here. Show more options. Rename copy and also you can open the command prompt. And paste it here and change the extension file to OVF because our target is we have to convert OVA file to OVA file. So you can use this tool name OVF tool.exe, the specific OVA file space, and you can copy the different folder location and extension with OVF. Now press enter, it will start converting the file. Okay, so if you see in the disk location, see disk conversion is in progress, it's a 14%. We have to wait for a while, it will complete soon. Okay, 31, 32. So once it reached the 100%, the OVF extension file is copied in a C drive temp location. Okay, even if you see the description here, opening the file and it's writing to the C drive temp location.
Okay, see the transfer is completed successfully and the location is you can verify from command line or you can directly go to the C drive tab and see there is a OVF file extensions are copied. This is all the OVF file. And if there is a file name called a dot MF, MF means it's a this MF file is a manifest file. Even if you go back to our slide, see the first point is completed. Convert the VCSA OVA to an OVF using OVF tool, it's done. And second point, we have to delete the original VCSA OVF manifest file. So this manifest file deletion, how we can delete is again go back to system. You can delete from graphical method or if you want to delete from the command line, again go back to previous state. Let's say CD. We are in under the C drive temp. So we should go to the C drive temp and type directory. You can see all these files. So there is a manifest file is available dot MF. If you want to remove we need to type the command delete and also you can type the complete file. So just copy here and paste it here. OK, now press enter. So again, if you want to verify, press directory, directory command, and you can see there is no manifest file. Manifest file is removed. OK, so even if you refresh here, there is no manifest file now. or else refresh here. OK, there is no manifest file. And back to the slide. See the first step completed, second step completed, and third step what they are saying is edit the VCSA OVF file and look for this directory. CIS upgrade import and change the path to from false to true. OK, so go back to the slide uh, lab system. Sorry. And here there is a OVF file. This OVF file is in a open virtualization format package file. So just right click here. If you want to open, you can open within a either Wordpad or Notepad. So suppose I'm just opening with a Notepad. OK, when you open it in Notepad, there is a, so much information. Instead of finding the scroll down and verifying better, you can use any keyword and control F. Let's say I'm taking the keyword upgrade dot import. So control F and look for a upgrade dot import and enter. So when you look for upgrade dot import, you can see the same information here. The value is showing as false. OK, you can change the value from false to true. OK, and if you want to save file, save. And again, look for the same keyword. Is there any other information? Currently, cannot find. So we can find only one, one option only. That option we already changed. OK, suppose even if you double check, if you see the guest info CIS upgrade import directory and the as per the re resolution, we change from false to true. OK, now the third step also completed. Click on save. So now the, you can use this OVF file to install the VCSA for the reinstallation. Then this error may not come, may not reoccur. It will go smoothly. OK, so the troubleshooting step third point is completed. And as per the resolution, retry the VCSA 8.0 installation using VCSA.OVF file and it will work without any issues. OK, hope you clear about these troubleshooting steps and installation VCS installation. We already discussed in our previous session. You can follow the same method. OK, so hope you clear about all this information. That's it. So thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Nan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.